Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube math channel. In this video, I want to talk about how you can learn math in just 10 minutes a day. So math can be a difficult subject for many people, but it doesn't have to be. With just a little bit of effort each day, anyone can become good at math. In this video, we're gonna be discussing the benefits of learning math in just 10 minutes a day and also the pros and cons of this method. I wanna emphasize that you know, 10 minutes a day does have some drawbacks. You're not gonna be able to really get deep into math, but I honestly think that doing 10 minutes a day of math is better than doing no math, and it's a good way to get started with math. So first, let's talk about the benefits of learning math for 10 minutes a day. So consistency is key. When you dedicate 10 minutes a day to learning math, you're gonna be able to stay on top of the material and you'll avoid cramming before tests because you're doing it every day. You're, you're gaining that incremental knowledge. Even if you just solve one or two problems in 10 minutes, that's something that you've done that is going to you know, help your mind and it's gonna make you better at math. It'll also allow you to identify areas that need improvement. So if you practice every day, you're going to become aware of your weaknesses. You know, if you regularly come into barriers when trying to work out line integrals, then maybe you should spend more time, you know, studying, uh, you know, multivariable calculus and working on line integrals. So you'll find your weaknesses. Also, another benefit is that you're going to retain information better. You know, regular consistent study helps the brain retain more information effectively. So again, the consistency is going to allow you to stay on top of things. By doing it so much, you're going to be able to identify areas that need improvement. And because you're doing it every day, you're going to retain the information better. So those are just three benefits, okay? Those are three benefits. So there's some pros too, you know, it's, it's time efficient. That's one pro. Um, you know, you don't have to set a lot of time um, apart each day, you know, 10 minutes. I mean, that's nothing, right? 10 minutes out of 24 hours. Just think about that. It really doesn't take that much time. It's really worth doing it. So it's very time efficient when you study 10 minutes a day. Also, it's less overwhelming. You know, if you break down your studying into just 10 minute increments or just 10 minutes for a whole day, it's not intimidating. You're more likely to sit down and do it uh, because you know, it's only going to take you 10 minutes. You're not going to like say, Oh, I don't have time for this because it's only 10 minutes. So it's not overwhelming. And because it's only 10 minutes, you can really fit it into your schedule. So time efficient, it's not overwhelming, and you can fit it into your schedule, right? Those are some pros for the 10 minutes a day scenario. Now, the big thing is the cons, right? Let's talk about the cons of learning math for 10 minutes a day. So 10 minutes might not be enough time. You know, if you struggle with math, um, 10 minutes a day might not be enough time to cover everything you need. I mean, realistically, certain problems can take you forever, right? They can take forever. If you're doing proof-based problems, I mean, 10 minutes just gets you started sometimes. Math is very, very time-consuming. So obviously, you know, this method is not going to work for all levels of math, right? It's only going to work for some math. You know, you're not going to be able to like, you know, really get in there in 10 minutes and, you know, learn a ton of math, but it's better than nothing. And that's the point. Also, because you're only working 10 minutes a day, it's going to take you longer to see results. You know, um, it's just not going to happen. Maybe you can solve one quadratic equation and one factoring problem. Hey, 10 minutes are up. But again, the point is that it's better than nothing. So it's not the best way to learn math, but it's certainly a good way and it's better than not learning at all. Um, and also I should mention, you know, why it's important. It's better to do 10 minutes than not. And here's why, you know, even if 10 minutes doesn't seem like a lot, it's better than not doing it, right? That's, that's the point. So consistency, you're doing it every day. It's better than not doing it. Also, even though it's only 10 minutes, you're still going to be making progress, right? No matter how small your little steps are, you're still making those little baby steps. Uh, and it's those baby steps that build up. There's this old movie um, it's called What About Bob? And the guy keeps saying baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. And you take those baby steps and you become better. It's like incremental progress. And also it's a very manageable time commitment, right? 10 minutes a day is small and manageable so you can do it. So I really think that 
you know, 10 minutes a day of math is worth it. You know, so if you're not doing any math right now, if you're just watching this video and you're thinking, oh, I can learn math in 10 minutes a day. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. And it's a good way to learn. And it's definitely better than doing no math at all. And the fact that you're doing it every day is huge. And it's 10 minutes, so it's manageable. So if you're thinking about trying it, I would recommend try it. Um, just sit down every day, you know, take, take a pencil and a piece of paper and just do it, right? 10 minutes a day. Now, you can do it for more than 10 minutes. You can study math for 30 minutes or an hour. But by getting started with just 10 minutes a day, I, I just think it's it's such a huge thing for people. It's such a huge way to get to get better at math. So what are your thoughts? Do you do math every day? Do you think 10 minutes is enough time to make any meaningful progress um, you know, with mathematics? Do you think 30 minutes a day is a better recommendation? So um, I, I got the idea for this video because someone sent me a really, really long uh, message asking about, you know, learning math in, you know, as little time as possible. So I thought, you know, 10 minutes a day is a very, very, you know, reasonable goal. It doesn't take a lot of time. The real question is, one, are you going to get yourself to sit down and actually do it? And two, are you going to have enough time to solve a math problem in 10 minutes? And it really just depends on, you know, the kind of math that you're doing, right? For example, here I have some books. This is an old calculus book, which is actually free, by the way. It's in the public domain called Differential and Integral Calculus by Phillips. And so if you know some calculus or you want to practice calculus, here you go. Here's an example of a problem you can do, right? You can just sit down and you can just start doing some math. Find the maximum and minimum values of the following functions. And this book is great because it has answers in the back of the book to every single problem. So it's got tons of calculus problems. It's free because I'm pretty sure it's in the public domain. You can Google it. And you can find it on the internet because people have made it available because it's so old. So this is a good candidate for, you know, a 10 minute a day study plan. Whereas if you're doing like, you know, Galois theory or, you know, graduate level analysis, um, you might not be able to do a proof in 10 minutes. So keep that in mind. It all depends on your level. But even if you're at a high level, nothing, there's nothing that says you can't go back and do basic math or other math from other books. I mean, it's better than nothing. And I think it's really good for your mind. So anyways, I'm a big fan of 10 minutes a day. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think it's worth doing math for 10 minutes a day, 20 minutes, 30 minutes? What are your thoughts? Also, remember when you leave comments, people do read the comments. So try to leave good comments because it helps other people. And it's always good to help other people. Anyways, keep doing math. Good luck.